1964, we were students of Jan Kazire in 11th grade journalism class. Every girl at Will Rogers High School wanted to be just like Jan Kazire, and all the boys agreed. They wanted us to be just like her, too. <laughs> Mrs. Kazire was preparing us to work on the Lariat and Tulsa school life in our senior year, but she prepared us for much more. She was an empowering teacher who inspired us and who trusted us to do the job she trained us to do. From that one class, two-thirds of us went on to obtain at least one college degree in the language arts. Two-thirds of us worked in the media. Two-thirds of us became teachers. She started us on the road to becoming authors, educators, writers, counselors, and leaders. We thought we were Mrs. Kazire's crowning achievement. But she went on to become a media figure herself and had success in several fields. She contributed to women's resources, mental health, and well-being. She's impacted lives around the world. Back in 64, we were her kids, and she still considers us hers. To us, we're proud to call Janet Kazire teacher, mentor, and friend. Janet Wright Kazire graduated from Will Rogers and the University of Tulsa returned to Will on the Hill to teach English and journalism, then completed her doctorate in psychology at TU. She and her late twin, Dr. Judy Hagedorn, opened a psychology practice, hosted two local TV talk shows, and were the first women honored as University of Tulsa Distinguished Alumni. They appeared on network television shows including Good Morning America and Today and were interviewed by Larry King, Dick Cavett, Barbara Walters, and Tom Snyder. The twins published two books, Search for Acceptance, The Adolescence and Self-Esteem, and Gemini, The Psychology and Phenomenon of Twins. Janet's proudest accomplishment is being a founding member of Fresh Start Women's Foundation. Fresh Start has helped more than 200,000 women in need who are seeking self-sufficiency and opened a state-of-the-art Women's Resource Center on October 1st, 2002. She remains committed to helping women to help themselves. The YWCA in Phoenix honored Janet at their tribute to women for her work in health and healing. She continues to advocate for those dealing with domestic violence, child abuse, AIDS, codependency, drug and alcohol abuse, and adolescent pregnancy. She is listed in Who's Who in America, Who's Who in the World, Who's Who in American Women, and International Who's Who in Community Service. Janet's favorite quote is from George Eliot. It hangs on a plaque dedicated to her at the Women's Foundation Resource Center. What do we live for if not to make the world less difficult for each other? Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Janet Kazire. I'm going to be your favorite inductee because I'm going to make the briefest talk y'all have ever heard. <laughs> it's really good to be back here at Will Rogers. I've been back here numerous times. I went to high school here. I did my student teaching here with Madge Gibson, and you remember Madge Gibson, some of you. <laughs> Do you? Okay. I uh, did uh, taught here for a couple of years and had my wonderful 11th grade journalism students. We called ourselves the 11 J's and there's several of them around the audience and we have some honorary ones too. But you can imagine who nominated me, 
These were the people who spoke to, to announce me. I love them very much. <clears throat> I also appreciate the support of all of my English and journalism students, and thank you to the Will Rogers Community Foundation, Dick Risk, David Rader, Steve Wright, who's an integral part of this award, and he's also a wonderful school historian. And thanks to my husband, Mark, who has been my partner and biggest supporter since we met the first day of our first year at the University of Tulsa uh, in journalism class. And Mark sat behind me and pulled my ponytail. And you can imagine what a turn on that was for a 17 year old girl. <laughs> well, I married him anyway. Uh, <laughs> Will Rogers and the faculty here have given me the educational foundation that has allowed me to continue to learn and to grow in my careers and in my life. Thank you so much, everybody. Bye-bye.